Hey everyone, it's me Lexi Fifty Nine here again. I'm sorry for the bad camera angle and stuff. My camera is not wanting to be my friend today. It sucks. It really absolutely sucks. So today I'm showing you how to edit photos. And by edit photos, I do not mean a collage with someone paste on top of it. I do not mean someone with inspirational text or something. I do not mean, you know, like when there's sports edits that are basically just a normal photo from for an HDR filter. Sorry to say, but that's what they look like to me. I'm talking about this. Now that you know what I'm talking about, you can understand this video much better. This is for more photo manipulation type editing. I'm mainly going to be using apps, obviously, because this is for like Instagram and stuff, just for fun, really. And you know, I think it's really fun to do, and it gets a little annoying after a while, but it is pretty dang fun. So yes, um, the app I'm really going to be using is PixArt. Um, I'm going to go quick, a quick overview on that app, and then we're going to get into actually editing. Um, now I'm using the Android version, it's different on iOS, I know it is, because I also have it on my iPad. So it is a little different. But I'm sure you could probably find an app that would work. Basically, what you're looking for in an app is the ability to add a photo and mask it. So there's only like a certain part of the photo. So like if I was still a photo right now, I could just totally erase my entire background. You look and you also want a program that supports transparent PNGs. Or just PNGs in general because PNGs will be your friend. Alrighty, now with this introduction finished, uh, let's get into the actual editing process. Alrighty, so before I go on my phone, I'm just going to get clear what I'm using. I am using a stylus, we got them mail, as in we, I mean my family. We just got it, it's like one of these pen stylus that you click it and there's a pen. Because there's a hole in the stylus, you can't really see it well. Because it's black and my phone's black, but yeah, it works, you just right on the phone. So, the moment to unlock my phone, because location issues. Alright, so... Alright, there we go. So I'm going to go home and open PixArt. PixArt is a grid app. And this is the one I use. And, oh, my camera's falling. Okay. So I'm going to hit the edit. And I, I don't know. I'll just grab a picture of my nails. Um, I'm currently wearing that same manicure. They look like crap, though. Um, if any of my followers are my nail Instagram, you probably already recognize this. So there's quite a lot of things. So there's tools, which is your basic cropping, which you need a selection, a shape, crop, a clone, motion, stretch, curves, adjust, enhance, resize, flip, rotate. I do not know all of I've never used all of them. Well, I've never used some of them, but I've used a lot. For effects, there are filters such as this one, Light Cross, Dodger, um, Cinerama, and you can edit the the well, um, you can edit how much fade, how faded it is and stuff. It's real cool. And that's FX, and they have a lot. Like they have like HDRs, they have sharpens, they have sepia, they have black and whites, they have vintage ones. Um, there's corrections such as cloning, red eye, color eye, blemish fix, face fix, suntan, and teeth. I've never used really any except blemish fix. Um, because I had a picture that had a mosquito on my face, so I had to remove that. Colors, um, there's color splash, hue and stuff. The most important here are saturation, brightness, and contrast. Those are pretty important. Um, those blurs, which are pretty cool. Artistic, which are really weird, some of them. They're more like painting and stuff. Pop art. <laughs> Makes it look like, well, pop art. <laughs> like that. <laughs> um... And that's all. Oh, there's paper, but that's really like stencils and stuff. Um, I'm just gonna. All right, kind of have to hit it and then undo it. Sorry. <laughs> um, you know, and then there's mask, which is not adding their photo. It's actually mask, so you have light effects, which are pretty cool. You have bokeh, or at least that's how you say it. So, so you can have bokeh effects. Um, border isn't extremely useful and stuff. Texture can be useful. It really depends on what you're doing, though. 
And then Artistic is one of my favorites because there's glitters and glitters are awesome. Glitter. Uh, let me hit X though. Um, there's texting, well not texting, but text, draw, um, callouts, lens flares, stickers, but the one most important is add photo. So let me just find a random photo to add. Um, we'll just get that gallery. Okay. Um, yeah, sure, why not kick? Sorry, I have some friends, old friends. Uh, so then you could add a photo, but with this brush tool, you can brush it away, which is super important. Now I'm just doing really crappy here, um, just to show you a demo of what it can do. See, that that was how you do it, and then you, know, you can just put it there or whatever. So that is actually pretty useful. So we're going to just close this. Um, there's also a camera which has filters built in, but that's not exactly what we're doing. And I'm sorry for this taking a while. Alright, so I'm going to go take a quick photo and get any files I need, and then I'm going to come back. Alrighty, I already got my uh, photo. Um, if you're wondering, um, I just grabbed it from Google. You can also take your own photo though if you would like. So I'm going to hold up my phone so you can see better. So this is the photo I chose. Um, I'm going to do tool, I'm going to crop it. One by one is Instagram, but I really either go by, um, if it's a big background like this, uh, 3 to 2, or 16 to 9, I think. Yeah, this one's not quite a 16 to 9, but it's not quite a, I think it'll be a 16 to 9. I would really regular, regularly do 3 to 2, though. And I'm just saying this in ratios. I would say, like, by, though. I'm just saying 2, because that's probably correct. Right now we have this. I'm gonna go ahead and add a photo in. Now I have to go to my gallery and where is it? DC, DC, DCIM, DCIM. Where is it? Uh, oh, is it? Oh, Andre Media. Okay, that it is. <laughs> this is the photo I took. I'm gonna do is I hit this button up here. I'm not sure you can see it, but it's the crop button. So you could actually crop your photos so you don't have to erase nearly as much. Um, but if you erase and then crop it, you'll get all the background back. So make sure to crop it beforehand. Uh, it's just going to be a waste of time. Alrighty, I'm just going to place that there. Take the eraser. Down here you have this circle. And then you will have harness. I always go here and I up my harness a bit as uh, we're going to around an 80. Yeah, we're going to around like 70 something. That's right. Put it 70 to 80. Uh, or something 60 to 80, really, really. Then I just erase any general areas, and I'll zoom in in a moment to get anywhere else. This is just a really basic edit for beginners, I guess. So I'm just going in pretty close at the edges. And this takes a while, so I'm going to speed it up a bit. But what you just do is, for zooming in, you do it like that, and you can zoom out a bit. If you want a really big brush, your brush has stayed the same size. Like, if it's a circle that's tight, like, the bigger the further you get, but the smaller is the closer, because your brush will always be the same size circle, no matter, like, how zoomed in or not. It's not like you draw a circle and then you zoom in and it gets bigger or whatever. It's going to be the same size. It's really confusing. But I'm just going to need to quickly finish this up, so speed up. Alright, now that I am done, I'm just gonna hit check and actually hold on, I just need quick. Okay, there we go. Now it's done. Sorry, I just realized this. No, actually, we're not. Okay, okay, yeah, that looks fine. Okay. Hit check, and then you can move it around. So I think I want it pretty centered, the photo. So something like that. And I'm sorry for the glare. I didn't, didn't want glare, but it just happens because the light is right above me. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I'll just hold the film like this. Um, then I'm going to add another photo, and I'm just going to go out of wing. But not pick speed. Let's 
YouTube, it's Pixbeat, I don't like you. Let's go to my downloads, um, uh, there it is, uh, yeah, we're just gonna use these. I'm gonna crop it to this one link, um, and we'll, yeah. and we're gonna add another one exactly like it. So basically I'm just going back to my downloads and picking it again. I'm just talking about you could hit it twice like that, but I didn't mean to win. Yeah, there you can see what photos I selected. Sorry, my phone's really big. And my camera's, well, doesn't have that big of a big space. Um, so I'm going to quickly cut this again, except I'm going to do this one. So I have one for both sides and I don't have to flip it. I have my alarm in my head at the moment. It sucks. I can't like get song in your head. Now I my alarm around my head. All right. Now you can go with screen stuff, but I'm just gonna hit multiply, which because that will just take away the white. And oh, and I think it fits. That and oopsie daisies, I missed a bit. On this. So that's why I like you can only to clean it up later. Anything you miss. Mainly just because I'm not really feeling anything and they actually look pretty good. So yes, if you just want to remove all the white in the photo, multiply is great. It will remove all white. Um, white and things like that will remove a lot of the black, but not all of it. So, and dark and also works pretty well. I'm just using multiply for the heck of it because it keeps me with the black intact. So... I'm just adding my wings in, which can be quite annoying, and I do these, oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the, hey, okay, my app's glitching, it really doesn't do this, um, let me flip the wing, alright, but that way, oh, that goes away, yeah, okay, so, uh, the app really never does that, alright, once I have, Sorry, right, I think the ones need to be smaller. Skinnier, rather. Yeah, skinnier and smaller would be nice. Yeah, that would be very nice. Look at that. Once I have the wings how I like them, I just put B back on top of them by hitting me again. And I don't think, I think this one needs to be a little wider. Just a little low. Alright, now I'm happy with it. So, put myself back on top and hit check. Now, before I go on to all the cool filters, and here's a close-up of how it looks so far, and it's really bright on my phone, I go ahead and add a few effects filters. Um, I think I'm, oh, Light Cross looks pretty nice. I really like Light Cross, Dodger, and Cinerama a lot. I'm just, what I'm doing is basically blending the photos together. So they look more like they were always the same photo. So I just hit a few, um, just use some, and then we're going to go straight to masking. Really, really, I go to Bokeh. Um, now, it doesn't really look as good in a wider resolution. They look better the thinner, like, power, like on a one by one, well, one to one. They look better, or one by one, you know, I don't really, yeah, moved it. So I'm really just playing around, seeing what looks good for this particular photo. Uh, some of the things will look good on one photo, but they'll look terrible on another. So you really gotta play around and see how certain things look. And, you know, flip things around and just see them. And just see how they work. And, you know, this is really just how you have to do it and things like that. So, yeah, that's just how you do it. And, oops, hit the save button. Um, so really, I'm just going to hit a bunch of, like, sparkly filters. I'm allowing you to see this, even if it's boring. Um, and I guess I probably should move it more this way, so you can really, really see. So I'm just adding a bunch of sparklies. Well, I'm not really happy with it. So now I want to hit save, and I think I'm going to name this... I don't know. Yeah. Shining night, I'll call it. No, oh, oops, midnight. Sorry, I'm paying attention to the camera too. And hit OK. It'll save, and voila. You have it saved. 
And that's all. If you want to go upload it to Instagram, you can go do that. But yeah, that's basically it. So I'm just going to home and yeah. All right. As always, like this video if you like this video. Favorite this video if you favorite this video. Comment your opinions and subscribe if you want to. Peace out. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye.